done, lads. You rode a very good stage today. Finishing in the top five, even though the stage didn't suit us, is extremely satisfying. We lose the green jersey. It's not great. Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Tour de France 2020 playthrough with Team Ineos. And today it is time for the penultimate stage of this year's Tour de France. Stage number 20 and it's a time trial. But before we get into it, a quick look back at what was a fairly uneventful stage in stage 19. For the general classification, nothing really changed. The only classification which changed was the green jersey, which as you could hear, we lost. Kovatkovsky had it beforehand, uh, but Peter Sagan did really well, particularly on that last sprint. We were caught napping a little bit, um, and we lost that last sprint. But uh, Peter Sagan, as you can see, gained 41 points on us. Um, so in that points classification, we are now 18 points behind um, the Slovenian, Slovakian? I don't know which one's which. I think, it, I think it's Slovakian. I think it's Slovakian. I could be wrong. I, I always get those two flags wrong. I, I feel like they're quite similar. I could be wrong. They could be completely different. Um, but just an update before we get into the time trial. I don't expect things to change today and for the rest of the Tour de France, really. I think Rodgelik, um has got it has got it sewn up, really, now, unless there's any sort of surprise. But this time trial should be something a little bit different. Uh, the general classification could change. Climate classification has decided. Kovatkovsky will win that now. Points classification, it's difficult to see anybody other than Sagan winning that now. Although Kovatkovsky could still come back. Um, young rider classification, Bernal's pretty much got that sewn up, it's a two horse race if anything um, Team classification, I mean we've done brilliantly, we'll win that definitely And combativity, I mean Kovatkovsky will win that now no, There's not enough kilometres to go ultimately for anybody else to take that uh, But today it's a time trial stage, let's see what happens, it could be interesting Today it's uh, going to be a full video, uh, so no skips or anything The full 36 kilometres of the time trial, let's get into it Today it's a time trial which is important for the general classification because it's a route for climbers. It's important to go all out on this time trial to stay well placed in the general classification. Let's be clear, our chances of getting into the top 10 are slim. Try to limit the damage. He's in the first five of the general classification and he'll soon be setting off. This is a crucial time trial. Come on, let's applaud him as we ought to. Here we are then. The time trial, and we are controlling Bernal. God, it's tricky to turn. That's for certain. Really is tricky to turn in that time trial position. I've gone with it with Bernal today, just because, ultimately... Um, we could mess this up quite easily with Grant Thomas and any chance he might have of winning the, the Tour de France could be completely blown away here by us being absolutely terrible. At least with Bernal, um, you know, there's not really much risk. And he's our best mountain climber, so he's our best chance for this, theoretically. So, uh, I think we'll do the final two stages in today's video. As you can see, that time is going a lot quicker than I anticipated. I thought, bloody hell, at the start I was looking and thinking, Christ, it's going to take an hour. I don't think we want to watch the whole... Of that. And to be quite honest, I thought it was going to be a team try time trial, not an individual time trial. So this is surprising me all round. But I believe we've just got to stay where that um, silver or white marker is. Or grey or whatever you might see. As we'll just say it's white to avoid any sort of uh, controversy. But the objective of that first marker is 16 minutes uh, and 18 seconds. Good to see our guys are uh, near the top actually. Dennis Castro Viejo, Castro Viejo actually leads. Uh, Dennis now leads, sorry, over the the line, which is great to see. Not that it'll have much bearing for us. Need to get out of that TT position really for uh, these bends because they are a nightmare. Let's get back down to that pace. Don't exert ourselves too early because there's a nasty mountain pass coming up later. I'll put the shivers in anybody's spine. It's tricky to manage though, particularly when you're trying to look where to go as well. But I guess that's the difficulty of it. So 10 minutes, 16 minutes, 18 is uh, 
16 minutes is the plan for the first the first uh, time check, the first intermediate, as you can see, coming up. Again, if we completely muck this up, it doesn't matter too much because Grant Thomas is our man. If we muck it up with Bernal, then, you know, I'm not too worried. But this is certainly different. We're just going to have to follow the advice of the sports director and just hope it's good advice at the end of the day. None of the big guys for the general classification seem to be up there, but obviously... Uh, Itoni Garant, um, Roglic and Fuglsang to come up. Fuglsang even, sorry, to come up later. Because I think it's done in the order of the general classification, this. So Bernal fourth in the general classification. So that uh, sprint's coming up now. As you can see, it's just up there, just a kilometre away. We're going to be fairly close to this 60 minutes 18, at least I think we are. Could blow up in our face quite easily. I mean, we're a kilometre away now, so we're going to struggle. We'll see how we get on. Well, this isn't going to look too good at all, is it? We're going to be about 20 seconds, even 30, even 40 behind that. But we're just following everything the sports director's telling us to do. Oh, wow. 42 seconds. 139th. Well, I'm doing what you're telling me to do. You must be a rubbish sports director. Oh, dear. Again, this is a strange stage. Oh, Thomas is uh, right at the top after that, which is just what we wanted. He's uh, second after the first intermediate. In fact, he's overtaking us. That's just embarrassing, but... Uh, oh, well. <laughs> oh, wow. Grant Thomas overtaking us. That's how bad we've been. But I guess we can be a bit cheeky, work as a team. But again, we're just riding out there telling us to ride, so I'm not really sure why... Uh, I was just test to see if we could follow him then. Uh... Okay, we can use a little bit more energy, I suppose. Just seeing if Fuglsang, Fuglsang or uh, Roglic is anywhere near. Roglic even. But our main man, Grant Thomas, doing very well in that first split. Great stuff. As long as he does well, I'm not really too bothered. This is very tricky though, particularly when you don't know where the road's going, to just try and focus on keeping the pedal in the right place. It's it's like multitasking, and anybody should know that us blokes aren't very good at multitasking. And any excess energy used could be really problematic when we get to the next climb, but the time it takes to get uh, down... Oh wow, the one corner, the one corner! that we anticipate that we're going to have to speed out of. We don't. Chris Froome's just come across the line in third, I think. So maybe it, not, it might not be in order of the general classification. It just seems weird that Thomas is right behind us. I don't know. But given that we've just overtaken him, I'm guessing we've exerted ourselves a little bit too much there. So the next objective is 40 minutes and 47. So really, realistically, it's 41 and a half minutes. We've been 42 seconds behind. More than halfway there. Again, nice and quick. Hence why we'll probably do the last stage in today's video as well. Oh, the Astana riders took the lead. Uh, he's a git. I don't know how to pronounce his name. But yeah, he's there at the top. Nine seconds ahead of anybody else. As long as uh, Roglic or Fugsel, Fuglsang doesn't do anything special here, then it's fine. Ultimately, I think we have to accept third place in this Tour de France, unless there's a real shock in the final stage, or even now, I suppose. Grant looks good, though. It's the fact he started behind us, and yet he's in front. That's just a bit embarrassing. But oh well. We're more than halfway now, now, as you can see. Well, hopefully we're more than halfway there. Oh, dear. Okay. Roger that. Using this energy. Then we can take a breather afterwards. Oh, we're nearly running out of energy here. But we'll just follow whatever he's telling us to do. Get back in that TT position. Oh, dear. Oh, this is so tricky. Really is. 
Jesus. Particularly with these turns. Mate, Grant's mugging us here. Oh my god. The game's mugging us as well. Go up to that energy for two seconds. Nah, never mind. And the bike just doesn't turn in that TT position at all. So when you brake, you go out of the TT position. Oh my god. I'm so glad we're not doing this with Grant. I apologise to Bernal. We screwed you over in stage number two. And it seems we're doing exactly the same here. I dread to think how this second part has gone. Even worse than the first. But oh well. I mean, this, I thought this would be a team time trial. Quite exciting, but as I said, on the contrary. Where's Grant going to be on that second time check? Not really bothered about us. We're going to be way off. Grant Thomas, 16 seconds ahead of anyone. That's what we like to see. But we are way back here. Absolutely way back. Oh dear. Well, I mean, at least we're only 40 seconds off. Our objective, move to 70th. But this is going to get really tricky. Rightio. It's just tricky to keep that sort of energy up, really. Alright. Oh my god, it's so tricky to keep that up. Because you have to click the button, it's not like the effort control. Oh, come on. We're not doing too badly here. You can probably tell by the rubbish I'm coming out with here that I'm having to concentrate so much more than usual. Right, I think we've got some sort of decency now. Demoulin, bloody hell, look at his time. I mean, I'm saying I'm having to concentrate more, yet I'm yakking on about Demoulin's time. Get out of the road. Out of the way. Okay, we need to rest in TT position, I think, at some point. Whew, take a breather. Not much of one, though. Three kilometres to go here. We're going to blow up. I really don't know how this works. Really don't. Here we go. Well, this has been a disaster for Egan Bernal. I feel sorry for him. We've screwed him over plenty of times. But I just don't get these time trials at all. I mean, there's no way you're not going to blow up coming up here. Oh, well. All right. Well, this is disastrous. I'm that embarrassed, I don't even want to show you guys this. This is just terrible. Let's just keep an eye on what Garant does as he gets to the top of the climb. Embarrassing for Bernal, this really is, but I'll tell you what, I don't know how on earth you don't blow up up these climbs. Hang on in there, they're celebrating, he's going to be about six minutes behind at this stage. Just keeps blowing up. I'll see you guys at the top of the climb, I think. Right, we're half a kilometre away. As you can see, we've completely blown up. To be fair, we're not too far from our objective. At all. Grant Thomas, look at that time though. Wow. Our objective, 53 at 59, 31. Oh, we get over it three seconds uh, later than I thought we would. That wasn't too bad there in the end, I guess. Where's Bernal going to finish? It was a good time for Grant Thomas though. Let's see how that affects things. Is he going to win the time trial? I don't know. It was a great time for him, though. Maybe we were looking rubbish because Grant Thomas was so good. I don't know. I'm guessing that's Grant Thomas who's won it. Well, he wins the stage. That's the first stage Grant Thomas has won and probably the last. Let's see what difference that makes to the standings. Thank God we weren't riding as Grant because uh, we butchered that with uh, Bernal. Obviously, everything stays the same. No need to present any of these, really, to be quite honest, if I'm being cynical. But let's see. How did we get on? 
I know Grant Thomas won the stage, but by how much and by how much the Rog Lick and Fugel sang? Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We were the pre-race favourites and you lived up to the role with Brio. Well done for this win. We retain the polka dot jersey. Well done, guys. What about that? What about that from Grant Thomas? Oh, that makes the losses we had in the other stage even worse. A minute and 26 to Rodlick. A minute and 28 to Fuglesang. Wow. Um, best climber, obviously no points there. Points classification, 20 points for Grant Thomas. Nothing for Kvatkowski, nothing for Sagan, I hope, as well. No. Young Ryder, Bernal gets that top. Well, would you believe it? So, one stage to go. Oh, the gap's lessened. 1 minute and 41. It's all over, really, isn't it? But I suppose you never know. Three seconds behind Fuglesang. Can we take second place? Points classification, obviously no change there, apart from Grant Thomas gaining two places. Well, oh, interesting. Here we go then. The uh, final stage of this year's Tour de France. I don't think much is going to change now, but a good win for Grant Thomas will be nothing to do with us. <laughs> It's the final stage, guys. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. We cannot lose the polka dot jersey. It's ours. Good job, guys. You've done well. This stage is of no interest to us. Keep cozy inside the peloton. Have a good stage. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. The final stage on the Champs-Élysées is always one of the most coveted. In the past, sprinters seeking the prestige of a victory in Paris have sometimes been caught off guard, but it hasn't happened very often. With the specialists who currently dominate the discipline, it's an even more demanding challenge. Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to the final stage of this year's Tour de France. It's been thoroughly enjoyable, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. The yellow jersey's really decided by a freak result here. But there are two sprints to go for. Passing in front of the Eiffel Tower, I will cross the Pont Royal before entering the prestigious circuit. Well, there you go. Uh, the yellow jersey is really decided, to be honest, bar a freak result, as I said before. The polka dot jersey is decided. The white jersey is probably decided. But the green jersey isn't. Really? There are two sprints today. Sagan has a good lead, but if we do well with Kovatkovsky, then there's a potential chance. Who knows? There could be a chance of us winning the, the uh, green jersey. Some lovely scenery here. The Eiffel Tower, of course. Oh, lovely. Really nice. It's been a great Tour de France. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Really have done. And uh, I don't think there's going to be any sort of breakaway today. I very much doubt that. We'll try and use some energy here. Why not? We'll try and experiment. I don't think it's going to work. Nah, I don't think it is at all. But, uh, yeah. There's going to be no breakaway today. We've just got to do well in the sprints, ultimately. And uh, see if we can get, get some points off Sagan today. Two sprints, though, and I'll see you guys when we get to the first one. Oh, look at that. Four laps around here, but there it is, the Champs-Élysées. The Arc de Triomphe. Oh, this is glorious. Brilliant scenery. As you can see, that breakaway for Kovatkovsky didn't really work. No surprise. Um, we're just trying to, get, trying to get all of our energy in order for this first sprint. I think Sagan's got the points classification tied up. He's such a good sprinter. Uh, but, you know, there's 17 points between us, 70 points on offer. If there's a big swing, who knows? And there could be a crash in the pallet and all those sorts of variables. Valgren's trying to escape. We might as well try and go with them. Sagan's going, so if Sagan's going, well, we'll try as well. I can't see it, though. I think they're just trying to tire us out, to be blunt. No need. 
Who's going to try and uh, retain our energy for the sprint. I think they're just trying to tire us out here. I don't blame them. I remember when Kovatkovsky had the uh, green jersey, yellow jersey and polka dot jersey all at once. That was magical, wasn't it? That was magical. We might as well use half of uh, both of our feeds here. We'll uh, get Castro Viejo to protect us, seeing as he's there. Again, we're just going for that points classification today. That's, that's the idea. Well, the one guy in front seems to be going for it. But I may very much doubt he'll get there. It's going to be our luck today, whether we can get to the front of this sprint. Obviously, well, he can't with his sprint necessarily, but... There is a chance uh, for Sagan to pull out such a gap. I don't know, 37 points. And really, it is definitely all over. But nice of Castro Viejo to defend us uh, and protect us. But Sagan's right there. He's always got the upper hand. Always. So, we enter the sprint. Can we get some points? He's going for it. Just look at his speed. Look at him. Look at his speed. Come on, Kavakovsky. Come on, son. Over the line. Who's it going to be? Oh. Sagan takes it. Takes second anyway. Takes another two points on us. So as we head into the last sprint, uh, Sagan has a lead of 19 points in this classification. Uh, I'm trying to see if we can... Wait for the next group. There's no point trying to pull away here. At all. But, uh, oh, it's a real shame. A lot more variation, though, in the final sprint. Um, nothing's going to happen, really, here. It has to be said for... Uh, for um, anyone else to, to win this Tour de France. But uh, I will see you guys when we get to that last sprint. So we head into the final lap now. The final lap of this Tour de France adventure. Is that Sagan just ahead? Yes, it is. Well, we're 19 points behind. Realistically, we need to go for the stage win. And we need to be well placed in order to do that. Good thing is, in a 50-point sprint, is that there's a chance. As we saw in the last stage, if we finish first and Sagan only gets fifth, for example, then there's a real chance. I can't see it, mind you. I can't see it. But I guess you just never know. There is Sagan. He's just a top-class sprinter. Nobody in the field like him. And ultimately, Kovatkovsky's not as good as him. He's just in this battle because he's been up there in the breakaways. So it just took some points generally. But six kilometres left. One lap to go. We'll uh, get everyone to consume their pink feed. So nice to see. Uh, see? Stage 21 of the Tour de France. And I'm still calling it a pink feed. Okay, oh dear. The red feed, of course, I mean. But it's so nice to see everybody here at the end. Apart from Gagan Hart, who we lost in stage number five. Bit of an anticlimactic end, I appreciate that. And we're not going to win the grit with the yellow jersey. We're not going to win the Tour de France, but we'll take third. We've made mistakes. Equally, we've also had some great stages along the way too. Going to uh, get everyone to follow attacks. Why not? Go for it here. Have a bit of fun. Set a high tempo. Remember to consume our blue feed as well with about three kilometres to go. Okay. But we'll consume it now with uh, Kvatkovsky. Come on, mate. Can we win the stage? Let's see. Be great if we could win the green jersey. I don't see Kvatkovsky. Uh, Sagan is just too good. He's just so good, it's unbelievable. We'll try and get uh, Castro Viage to come and protect us. Probably a little bit too little too late probably here. Oh, someone's just fallen. Well, the final sprint's on here. Oh, there's a fall. 
Unfortunately, though, Sagan's not part of it. Big crash in the peloton. Here we go, the final kilometre of the Tour de France. Come on! Where's Sagan? Where is he? You watch, he'll just sneak up on us. Can we win the stage with Mikhail Kvatkovsky? I don't think we will. Come on, son! Yes, we've done it! But where is Sagan? Where is he? Where is Sagan? The Tour de France goes to Roglic. Or Roglic. Steve, still getting his bloody name wrong. I don't think that Sagan was in the top five. Let's see. We won the stage with Mikhail Kvatkovsky. Where's Sagan? I can't see him anywhere. I can't see him anywhere. I believe I'm right in saying that 19 points was the gap. For winning this sprint, we pick up 50 points. Sagan needed 31. I think that would be about third or fourth. Well, put it this way. What, can you see a green jersey anywhere? I think we've won. I think we've won the green jersey. And it's a real shame because we've won everything else apart from uh, the general classification. But here is the final results podium of this year's Tour de France. So in front of the Arc de Triomphe, Mikhail Kvatkovsky is presented with his trophy for a stage victory. Well done to him. I didn't think we beat Sagan there, but he was nowhere to be seen in the end. The winner of the Tour de France, we couldn't quite win the yellow jersey in them, but Roglic has been up there throughout and thoroughly deserves it. Thoroughly deserves the general classification. We made some mistakes early on. Which have been irrecoverable in some ways. But Fuglesang will pick up second, I think. Only a small gap to Grant Thomas. But I think Grant Thomas will get third. So the points classification does go to Mikhail Kvatkovsky. All by virtue of winning that final sprint. Peter Sagan loses it. He'll be gutted about that. And Mikhail Kvatkovsky, the proud owner of two jerseys from this Tour de France. He wins the points classification. He gets the green jersey. I don't know which one he'll treat as more important, but I think this one is the most important. He has controlled this polka dot jersey for a long time. Thoroughly deserving of this. Mikhail Kvatkovsky, the best climber. And it'll be absolutely no consolation for not challenging for this year's Tour de France, but... Egan Bernal does take a jersey home. He takes away the white jersey. So, we win all of the jerseys apart from that yellow jersey. Well done to Rodgelick who wins that, but a good Tour de France for us nonetheless. And we win the final stage. Sure, we made him some mistakes, but it was a learning curve. And uh, some good achievements there. It's nice to see we've got some achievements. I love some achievements. But let's see what the sports director's got to say. What are his final words? Huge congratulations for this win, guys. Our chances of victory were virtually nil. This is an outstanding performance. You beat all the favourites. We finish with the green jersey and the polka dot jersey. It's really pleasing, guys. This is a very good performance. Well, glad to see the sports director is chuffed. We win that stage. Excellent stuff. Nothing between us, though, in the end. There was a crash at the back of the pellets. Just looking if that involved anybody of... Significance? No, I don't think so. Could you just imagine if Rodgelick was involved in that, though? Goodness me, what would be a shocker. 65 points taken there. Sagan only took 17, so he didn't take any points at all in that final. That final sprint. And the final classification. Uh, Rodgelick wins the Tour de France. Fugel sang second. Grant Thomas third. Incredibly, a massive gap then back to Bernal in fourth. Evan Apoe in 5th, Pino in 6th, Kvatkovsky did really well in 7th, Carapaz, we paid very little attention to him in this Tour de France, but to be fair, he finished in 8th. The rest of our riders, Chris Froome finished 30th, maybe had the potential to finish a lot higher, but we did neglect him a little bit at the start of this Tour. Dennis, 43rd place, a great stage win in stage number 5, and uh, Jonathan Castro Viejo ends in 75th. The best climber jersey goes to Mikhail Kvatkovsky, Benal third, Thomas in seventh there. Points classification, it flips again. Kvatkovsky wins it. 
Young Rider, I know it's no consolation for Bernal, but at least he wins that jersey. We win the team classification and the compatibility classification, and it would have been a full sweep. A clean sweep, even. Full sweep. Clean sweep. Of course it's a clean sweep, you pillock. If it wasn't for the most important classification. But, ah, well. As you can see, the general classification, we finish third. Points classification first. Best climber first. Team classification first. Young rider classification first. Pretty much perfect. Nearly. Uh, 21... Uh, races, ra stages raced, and then eight stage victories. That's it for this year's Tour de France. That's it. No, oh, terrible. After all that, that's it. Real shame. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I certainly have done. I'm just interested. What are some of the other achievements we could have got? Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What could we have done? Bit of no, yeah, 40 for to winning the Tour de France. Oh, another 30 for getting the yellow jersey as well. Oh, uh, well. We'll have to try it again at some stage. We'll have to try it again. But uh, a lot of you want to see a pro team or a pro leader career mode. I'm up for that. I'm going to take a little bit of a time off, though, now. It's been daily content for a while. We'll cool that down a little bit. Um, but maybe in a few weeks' time. We might well do a pro team or a pro leader, but thank you very much for your support during this Tour de France playthrough. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and until the next time, whatever, whenever that might be, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.